Hey everyone, today it's time for me to do my August reading wrap up part 2. I will link part 1 in the description box below. This is everything I read from August the 16th to August the 31st. In that two week period, I read a total of 5 books, which is pretty good. Three of those books were really, really good and I really enjoyed them. Two of them were merely mediocre. So, in other words, it was a pretty average two week period. The first book that I read was Crosstalk by Connie Willis. This is a speculative science fiction book and it is also a romantic comedy. It is based around a small up and coming mobile phone tech company who is trying to compete directly with Apple. Obviously, Apple are the big boys within that industry. The main character is called Briddy. She is a woman working for the company and her fairly new boyfriend Trent is also a high uh, sort of executive within the company as well. They want to move their relationship onto the next level by getting an implant in their heads called an EED which essentially allows them to share their emotional states at all times. This is in the hopes that if you know the emotional state of your partner you'll then know how much you love each other and therefore this will improve your relationship in theory anyway however the resident tech genius of the company CB who is the third main character of the book he does not like the idea of the technology he has some major issues with this technology and he tries to talk Briddy out of having the implant she is just ignoring him because he she just thinks he's been a conspiracy theorist and just being a bit stupid frankly and the plot goes from there I can't say too much more because uh, I'll give away spoilers which obviously I never like doing but it the plot goes in a really predictable way at least at first and then it goes in ways that you really didn't see which is frankly to be expected otherwise you know if, if it was straightforward it wouldn't be any fun Overall, I really enjoyed Cross Talk. The characters were pretty good on the whole. The plot was really interesting and it has some obviously twists and turns, as most good books would have. And it certainly has Connie Willis' sense of humour. There were points in this that really did make me smile. I never laughed at the book, it's not that kind of funny, but it really did make me smile and I really enjoyed reading some of the unusual ideas in the book and overall I just really did enjoy this book and I've done a written review on Goodreads which I'll link in the description below as well that review is quite good I think so if you want to know more, more precise thoughts uh, have a read of that the second book that I read was Sinners by Pat Cadigan this is a science fiction soap book novel this is my first ever book by Pat Cadigan and it won't be my last despite me having quite a few reservations about it so the plot of the book, frankly I'm not going to go into too much because it's quite long, quite complicated and even I struggled at times to follow it, which for me is actually unusual. Normally I like long, really complicated, intricate plots. This seemed kind of fractured, however, with the plot. It seemed to sort of jump around a fair bit and it did damage the book, I thought. The characters were well done albeit in a rather unusual way. Obviously this is so punk it's a kind of a quite a dark, gritty, grimy world. It is reminiscent of um, William Gibson, whom I really, really like. His books are literally just over my shoulder here. But this I don't like as much as Gibson's. However, I will try something else by Pat Gallagher because the ideas in it and the way he's written, I liked, I just didn't like the plot because of this fracturing and the points of view jumping all over the place in a rather almost random style which is a shame frankly. The third book that I read was Revelation Space by Alistair Reynolds. This is my first ever book by Reynolds and it won't be my last. I really enjoyed this. This is the first book in a trilogy called Revelation Space. I will be reading the second and third books in the trilogy within the next one or two weeks. This is a science fiction space opera. It is set on a world called Visurgum. The main character is called Dan Sylvester. He is a scientist. He discovers something about the planet that the all life on the planet was wiped out due to a solar event 
almost a million years ago and he believed that this wasn't just a natural event that something actively caused it and he's investigating why and this leads to much greater and world defining and possibly sort of human civilization defining events although obviously these will presumably continue in the second and third books the plot of it is quite long and quite complex and obviously it's nowhere near finished in this book because there are two more of them i really did enjoy the characters as well reynolds's writing so i really enjoyed and i couldn't help thinking of peter f hamilton whose books are literally above my head there whilst i was reading it and i just really enjoyed this book this is a really good solid space opera with interesting locations interesting characters a good solid plot uh hard science fiction as well i mean alistair reynolds actually his education is an astrophysicist so he really does know what he's talking about in regards to you know sort of astral events and you know the whole thing to do with the sun wiping out life on a planet he understands the theories of how that could happen and this book benefits from that knowledge the fourth and penultimate book i read in august was a midsummer night's dream by william shakespeare i'm not going to talk about the plot of this because it's shakespeare frankly it seems very silly because they are so well known this is only the third shakespeare book i've ever read the first two i read when i was around 15 years old in school for english lessons frankly because of the way i talked about them um, in english lessons all those years ago and my teacher never made shakespeare interesting it was really dull and, un and uninteresting and frankly it made me hate shakespeare really bad and i've never touched shakespeare until now because of how much i disliked it at school this however sadly didn't work for me i was hoping that it might work for me now that i'm a lot older than that but it kind of didn't i'm not familiar with classics frankly and especially plays i mean i've, I've never read plays other than the previous two that i've mentioned and i liked the sort of little parts of it but it felt very trivial and the plot just felt sort of fairly silly as such you know nothing really much happens it's just a few people are in the woods and a magic uh, spell gets cast and then they end up falling in love with the people that they shouldn't be sort of like you know, crosses to one another and then the spell gets undone and everybody's apparently happy afterwards it seems and it just doesn't do a lot for me the plot doesn't and frankly i don't like the writing style i mean obviously this is shakespeare's uh english and that is not something i'm used to i mean frankly if it wasn't for the fact that this is the folga uh shakespeare library edition i probably wouldn't have finished the book because it wouldn't have made any sense to me frankly it just would have been really jumbled but you know i will read uh, more shakespeare in the future though i'm not gonna give up with shakespeare because I'm probably approaching this with the mind with the wrong mindset, because I'm not used to classics. So maybe in the future, when I uh, reread this, which I will, I will probably understand it more and like it more then, because I just don't know classics at the moment. You know, it's been so long since I've read classics. I need to get back into them a bit. The fifth and final book that I read in August was Stories of Your Life and Others by Ted Chiang. I Buddy read this with Rachel Calanade, whose channel I will link in the description box below. This is a short story collection, mainly science fiction but not entirely. I buddy read this with Rachel because of the live show which will be this following Saturday, where me and Rachel will talk about the various short fiction that we read, and indeed obviously this is a short story collection and this is the book of the month that we'll be talking about. So I'm not gonna say too much now because frankly me and Rachel will talk about it far more in depth. And probably in a rather more amusing way on saturday suffice to say i really enjoyed this book it has about eight or nine short stories in it i can't remember the exact number now i enjoyed almost all of them the overall book is written really well chang's writing style is different but really interesting and i really enjoyed it and i just love this book i really do i'm not gonna say anything more because there'll be no point i'll just be repeating myself in a few days time anyway i did so that's everything i read in august five varied books all of which i'm happy that i read if you've read any of these then please 
drop a comment and say why and we can have a conversation if you've got any suggestions on books that you think i should read then please leave a comment as well i'm always open to new authors and new books obviously uh, all the links to my social media as well as the things i mentioned in the video will be in the description box below i mean that said that is it for this video so thank you for watching and i'll see you another day bye for now